During this short video, we are going to take a look at the four main coding processes Longevity Coding specializes in. The first, as you can see, is an agitator that we are rebuilding the journal surfaces with a thermal coding process called Twin Arc. This process is excellent for restoration and has been used for decades in that regard. Our system is state of the art because all the process control is done by computer, offering the most reliable coatings. Also, nanotechnology has improved wire and powder technologies, making the twin arc coatings of today much more dense and wear resistant than in the past. What you're looking at in this video is a plasma torch, also known as a plasma non transferred arc torch. This is a nitrogen hydrogen plasma plume that is applying a plasma coating of chromium oxide to a shaft. This coating will be diamond ground to a very fine finish and will be able to withstand extreme chemical and wear environments. Because of the extreme temperatures reached with plasma, often up to 30,000 degrees Fahrenheit, it is ideal for high melting point materials such as chromium oxide, aluminum oxide, and other ceramics, as well as refractory metals. The coating being applied in this video is a nickel chromium hard facing alloy and is being applied through a process generically known as diffusion bonding. Diffusion bonding because after the coating is initially applied it will subsequently receive post treatment where the coating is brought up to its plastic state and densified in the process. Properly applied diffusion bonded coatings produce a fully dense hard surfacing with a metallurgical bond. This final process being illustrated is known as HVOF or high velocity oxy fuel. Longevity coating uses a version of HVOF where the gases go through a conver converging diverging nozzle with gas velocities reaching near 8,000 feet per second. This process is ideal for applying carbides and metals. These coatings when applied through this extreme high velocity torch are not only very dense but since the particles travel through the flame so quickly they generally do not have time to degrade or change characteristics. The result is a coating very similar in properties as the raw material it began as. This is very important, especially when applying tungsten carbides, as the carbide coating remains very high in crystalline WC content, thereby maximizing its effectiveness as a wear coating. 